So, Proxima b is a planet that scientists spotted not too far from us, orbiting the star nearest our sun. Astronomers got a super clear picture of it using the James Webb Space Telescope. This picture gives us a peek at what's beyond our solar system, which is really cool. How did the telescope do it? Could this planet maybe have life? What does this find tell us about other planets out there? Proxima b is about 4.2 light years away, circling its star, Proxima Centauri. This detailed view has a lot of people wondering if it's anything like Earth. Could it end up having oceans and life? Proxima Centauri isn't alone. There's another planet there, Proxima Centauri c. Since Proxima b gets about as much energy from its star as Earth gets from the sun, some think it could have water or even life. There are tons of these exoplanets out there, orbiting other stars. Some just float around. Proxima b is kind of a weird one. It goes around its star in just 11.7 Earth days and is way closer to its star than Earth is to the sun. That means one side of the planet is always in the light, and the other is always dark. They found Proxima b using something called the radial velocity method. It watches for tiny wobbles in a star's position caused by a planet circling it. It's like the star is pulled back and forth a little. By looking at how the star's light changes, they can spot these wobbles. That's how they found Proxima b. Finding Proxima b was big news because it's in the habitable zone of the closest star to us. Everyone's excited to see what Proxima b is like and what it can tell us about space and if there's life out there. These three stars, Regulus, Canopus, and Proxima Centauri, are our neighbors. From Earth, Regulus and Canopus look really bright, but Proxima is hiding something neat. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star, not too far from the other two. It's called Proxima Centauri because it's the closest star to us. It's pretty dim, so you can't see it without a telescope, but it's still important. Red dwarf stars make energy in a crazy way. Proxima Centauri will probably keep shining for trillions of years. But there are some problems for life on Proxima Centauri. It can have sudden bursts of energy. And since it's small, any habitable zone would have to be really close to the star. That's where Proxima B comes in. It's in that zone, but it gets hit with a lot of ultraviolet radiation, way more than Earth. That can mess with important stuff like nitrogen and oxygen. Plus, just because it's in the right spot doesn't mean it can have life. It might not have an atmosphere or water. Without an atmosphere, any life would be in trouble. Even with these problems, people are still trying to figure out Proxima B. That's where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. It's supposed to help us answer if there's life on Proxima B. It's not easy to check out Proxima B. The telescope had to be set up carefully. Proxima B reflects and sends out infrared light, which the telescope can see. This lets scientists see if there's water or an atmosphere. Water is super important for life. If Proxima B has water, it would make it more likely for life to exist there. But even though it gets about the same amount of energy as Earth, being close to its star means it faces strong radiation and flares that could wipe out an atmosphere. We don't know for sure if there's water. Scientists are using computers to guess what Proxima B is like. Some think there could be oceans, but we need better telescopes to find out for sure. Even if there's an atmosphere, it doesn't mean it's livable. One scientist said Proxima B could be like Venus, with a gross atmosphere and burning hot temperatures. Proxima B is a really interesting planet because it's close and might have the right conditions for life. It's worth checking out more. It's too far for us to visit right now, but maybe someday we can. With current spaceships, it would take almost 73,000 years to get there. But people are working on new ideas like solar sails, which could get us there in as little as 20 years. Finding Proxima B has made us all curious about space again. It shows that we want to learn more and see if there is life out there. The James Webb Space Telescope is great, but it can't do everything. It can spot faraway things and signs of life, but it's hard to know exactly what the atmospheres of planets are like. Proxima B reminds us that just because a planet has an atmosphere doesn't mean it's livable. But the telescope can still find even small signs of life, like lights from a civilization. That's pretty powerful. 
The universe is huge and full of planets we don't know about. Some are big like Jupiter, and some are more like Earth. There are also super Jupiters and hot Jupiters, which are super close to their stars and super hot. Checking out these planets shows us crazy storms and heat. There are also planets like Neptune, with weird atmospheres. Trying to understand planets like Proxima B has helped us build better tools and learn more about space. Ways to find planets, like watching for tiny dips in a star's brightness as a planet passes in front of it, have helped us find thousands of exoplanets. Some are even in the right zone for life. This makes us wonder if we're alone in the universe. Besides finding planets, scientists are also looking for signs of life, like certain gases in a planet's atmosphere. The James Webb Space Telescope can spot these gases, even from far away. If they find these signs, it would mean there's probably life out there. We're still really excited to try and find life in our area of the galaxy. Finding Proxima B was a big deal because it confirmed a planet in the habitable zone of the star closest to our sun. This got scientists, researchers, and space fans all over the world really excited. Everyone's itching to know what secrets Proxima B holds and what it can tell us about the universe and the chance of life beyond Earth. Proxima Centauri B is pretty awesome and worth a good look. Think of three stars hanging out together, Regulus, Canopus, and Proxima Centauri. They're cruising through the galaxy as our closest star group. In the night sky, Regulus and Canopus shine bright in the Carina constellation. These stars are super bright, with a magnitude of 0 0.27. But Proxima hides a cool secret. Also called Alpha Centauri, this red dwarf is only 0 0.21 light years from its brighter buddies. That's way more than the distance between Earth and the Sun. Its name, Proxima Centauri, means nearest star in Latin, which tells you it's our closest neighbor. Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn Innes spotted this star in 1915. Even though it's close, you can't see Proxima Centauri with your naked eye because its magnitude is 11.13, and we can only see up to about 6.5. Still, it's a big deal. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are special because they make energy through crazy internal movement. This star should keep shining for another 4 trillion years, which is a seriously long time. But life around Proxima Centauri might be tough. It's a flare star, so it shoots out bursts of energy. And because it's small, any habitable zone would have to be much closer to the star than Earth is to the Sun. That's where Proxima B comes in. It's in that zone, about the same distance from its star as Earth is from the Sun. But things might not be what they seem. Proxima B gets blasted with a ton of ultraviolet radiation, way more than Earth. This radiation can strip away hydrogen atoms, messing with important stuff like nitrogen and oxygen. Plus, just being in the Goldilocks zone doesn't mean a planet can support life. Proxima B might not have what it takes to keep a stable atmosphere or hold onto water. Without a thick atmosphere to protect it, any life would be in big trouble, making it hard to survive. Even with all these issues, the hunt for Proxima B secrets is still on. The James Webb Space Telescope is key to this. It launched in late 2021 after some delays and is ready to tackle one of the biggest questions in the universe. Could there be life on Proxima B? Finding answers about Proxima B won't be easy. The telescope had to be fine-tuned to get clear pictures. According to a physicist at Harvard, watching Proxima B needs super precise methods. Because it's in its star's habitable zone, the planet reflects and gives off infrared radiation, which the telescope can see. This tech can pick up faint light signals from around the planet, helping scientists look for water or an atmosphere. A big question is whether Proxima B has water, which is super important for life. If our life-giving water exists on Proxima B, it would make it much more likely that the planet could support some kind of life. Even though it's in a good spot and gets about the same energy as Earth, Proxima B faces problems because it's so close to its red dwarf star. These issues include strong radiation and flares that could strip away its atmosphere. And we still don't know for sure if there's water. Right now, researchers are using computer models to guess what Proxima B is like and whether it could have water. Some models show huge oceans. But we need better telescopes to get real proof. As our telescopes get better, 
we should learn more about Proxima B's weather and water, slowly figuring out this interesting planet. But just having an atmosphere doesn't mean it's livable. Turner, an astrophysicist from Princeton, says we shouldn't assume a planet is habitable just because it has an atmosphere. He says Proxima B could be like Venus, with a thick, toxic atmosphere and scorching temperatures, making it impossible for life as we know it. Proxima B is more than just another planet. It's a close neighbor that makes us wonder about the possibility of life. Because it's close to Earth, it's a great target for more research, which gets scientists and space fans excited. We can't travel to Proxima B right now, but it's a goal for future space travel. It's a long shot. A trip using today's spacecraft like Voyager 2 would take almost 73,000 years. But we're always coming up with new ideas for space travel. Things like solar sails, which are pushed by light, could make it possible to reach the Proxima Centauri system in just 20 years. This could make the dream of visiting an Earth-like planet a reality this century. The discovery of Proxima B has brought back our sense of wonder and curiosity about the universe, filling us with hope. It shows that we're always pushing to explore the unknown, learn more, and question whether we're alone in the universe. Even though the James Webb Space Telescope is the best we have right now, it has limits. It can spot far-off planets and potential signs of life, but it can't tell us exactly what alien atmospheres are like or whether they can support life. The Venus-like possibilities of Proxima B remind us that an atmosphere alone isn't enough. Still, the telescope's ability to pick up even faint signs of life shows how powerful it is. The universe is huge and mysterious, and it's full of unknown worlds waiting to be found. These exoplanets orbit stars that aren't our sun, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Some are huge gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn, while others are more like Earth. Some of the most interesting ones are Super Jupiters, which are even bigger than Jupiter, and Hot Jupiters, which orbit so close to their stars that they're incredibly hot. Looking at these alien environments shows us fiery extremes, crazy storms, and intense heat. There are also Neptunian planets, which are about the size of Neptune and Uranus. These planets often have confusing atmospheres that scientists are still trying to figure out. Trying to understand planets like Proxima B has led to new technology and a better view of the universe. As our ways of finding planets get better, we're using methods like the transit method, which watches for tiny dips in a star's brightness as a planet passes in front. This has helped us find thousands of exoplanets, many of which are in their star's habitable zones. These discoveries make us wonder and bring us closer to answering one of science's biggest questions, are we alone? Besides finding planets, astronomers are also looking for biosignatures, which are chemical signs of alien life. By checking out exoplanet atmospheres, scientists are looking for gases like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide, which are often linked to life. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its advanced infrared tools, is expected to be important for this, with the chance to spot these signals even from planets light years away. If researchers find biosignatures in an exoplanet's atmosphere, it would be strong evidence that life could exist beyond Earth. As we look to the stars, we're still determined to find life in our corner of the galaxy.